Well, some of our vital natural resources here in Utah are on life support, but scientists and wildlife managers are trying to give our waterways some help. As KSL's Dan Spindle found out, a large-scale restoration project in Provo could help water quality for all of Utah County. Over the past 150 years, Utah's population has grown and our natural occurring ecosystems have shrunk, which has made Utah Lake a little sick. Water quality in Utah Lake has been damaged over the years through pollution. In part because those shrinking ecosystems are sort of like the lake's vital organs. A bunch of these trees. Which makes these two part of Utah Lake's treatment plan. It's like a kidney transplant for Utah Lake. We're giving it what it needs to improve the situation out there. Eric McCulley and Michael Mills are with the Utah Reclamation Mitigation and Conservation Commission. We're often just called the Mitigation Commission. The Mitigation Commission is a small federal agency with a big task, restoring 260 acres of delta land between the Provo River and Utah Lake. This project has been in the making for about 10 years. This stretch of land was diked 150 years ago and developed for agriculture. It was actually part of Utah Lake before the dike was put in. Now the dike has been demolished, the land has been acquired, and most of the vegetation work is done too, with native plants in the ground. We're looking at tens of millions of dollars that, that go into a project like this. The funding is mostly federal and made possible to restore the habitat for an endangered species of fish called the June sucker. One of the criticisms that sometimes we encounter is, oh, you're spending so much money on a fish, and we don't really see it that way. Yeah, the fish benefits, but so does every other animal that relies on Utah Lake. The human population benefits. When it rains, all of the water flushes through our streets and cities, bringing contamination with it. Those things are absorbed in the vegetation before it goes into Utah Lake. So yes, this will have a significant improvement of water quality going into Utah Lake. Water will run in several channels through here into Utah Lake once they redirect Provo River, which they plan to do early in 2023. It will act as a natural flooding buffer too when the Provo River or Utah Lake experience high water levels. And that will increase biodiversity. It'll also increase our resilience to climate change in the future and changes in weather. The area will feature a trail system and boat launches for people to recreate. We think it'll be a draw for families to come out here and just enjoy a different type of recreation right next to a huge population center. And for these natural resource managers, being part of a habitat restoration so large is special. It's really compelling that we can actually turn back the clock of where we're giving rivers more room now to function naturally. Dan Spindle, KSL 5 News. Dan, thank you. There is a section of the Provo River Trail near Alligator Park that is temporarily closed for the work. The Mitigation Commission is working on a detour, but say that's still a few weeks out. They hope to release water into the Delta this January. We'll, of course, keep you posted on when this project finishes up.